Claudette was the first storm to impact the U.S., making landfalls a tropical storm in Louisiana on June 19th. It produced an EF2 tornado in Alabama as it moved along the Gulf Coast, destroying dozens of structures. We didn't have a clue that it was going to be this bad, and when we got out, it, it was devastating. Danny was next to make landfall in South Carolina as a weak tropical storm on June 28th with minor impacts. Elsa briefly strengthened into a hurricane before making landfall as a tropical storm in the Florida Panhandle on July 7th. The storm then moved up the coast, creating strong winds along the Jersey Shore and flooding in New York City. Tropical Storm Fred also made landfall in the Florida Panhandle on August 16th, producing several tornadoes in Georgia, including one that trapped horses in a collapsed barn. We got in the closet covered up and by the time we got in there got covered up and sat down it, it just howled very loud for about five seconds and it was over. Henri was next to make landfall in Rhode Island on August 22nd weakening from a hurricane to a tropical storm. It brought strong winds and waves to Long Island knocking out power in many parts of the northeast. The strongest storm this season was Hurricane Ida making landfalls a powerful category four storm in Louisiana on August 29th with wind speeds of 100 50 miles per hour. Millions were left in the dark for weeks. Homes completely destroyed from wind and storm surge flooding. We're thinking about everything. Uh, how long is it going to take to rebuild? When are our kids going to get back to school? We're just looking for a a uh, sense of normalcy to come back into our lives. What's left of Ida moved into the Northeast, causing a strong tornado and flooding in New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania, leaving dozens dead. Recovery is still underway in both Louisiana and the Northeast. The total damage is estimated to be around $95 billion. Following Ida, Mindy made landfall in the Florida Panhandle as a weak tropical storm of September 8th, bringing wind and rain. Nicholas was the final storm to make landfall in Texas on September 14th as a weak Category 1 hurricane, causing structural damage and flooding along the Texas coast. For AccuWeather, I'm Kim Luffler. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out these other videos here and be sure to subscribe for new content and the latest weather news from AccuWeather.